Hi, welcome to Microsoft SQL Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is continuation for SQL operators. In this session, we will learn what is compound operator and how compound operator works. In SQL Server 2008 has introduced the new feature called compound operators. Compound operators are available in other programming languages like C Sharp, ETC. Compound assign operators are operated upon and assigned in the same line. Compound assign operators provide a shorter syntax for assigning the results of an arithmetic and bitwise operator. They perform the operation on the two operands before assigning the result to the first operand. So these are there are different compound operators that what we are having. If you see on my screen, there is add equals, subtract equals, multiply equals, divide equals, modula equals, bitwise unequals, bitwise or equals, and finally bitwise exclusive or equals. These are all the different compound operators that what we are having. Let me explain one by one what the compound operators will do. Add equals will do adds some of the amount to the original value and sets the original value to the result. What about subtract equals? Subtracts some of the amount from the original value and sets the original value to the result. If you see on my screen, there's an example I have given. Okay, a equal to a plus 2. a is a variable. What are the values that we are having that we are going to assigning some value with some value to value a and the result is assigning to the value a. Okay, a equal to a plus 2. Let's assume a is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. We are going to assigning a value to a. Okay, in the same way, the compound operator add equals, we can assign in the same way. a plus 2 equal to 2 is the same value where a equal to a plus 2. In the same way, if we want to subtract equals, b equal to b minus 2 equal to, that is also the same as b minus equal to 2. In the same way, we are having multiply equals, multiplied, multiplies by an amount and sets the original value to the result. Divide equals, this is also the same, divides by an amount and sets the original value to the result. And modula equals, divides by an amount and sets the original value to the modula. Okay. In the same way, as of now that we have seen arithmetic operators, right? Arithmetic assignment operators, that is nothing but compound operators that what we are having. Now we will see bitwise and equals to, bitwise and equals to. This will perform bitwise and between two operands and set the results to the original value. Okay. In the same way, bitwise or equals, it will perform an uh, bitwise or on the two operands and sets the original value to the result. Okay. And finally, we are having bitwise exclusive or. It will perform bitwise exclusive or and sets the results, original value to the result. Okay, these are all the practical things what I like to show you. Now let me switch to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to operate some of the things. I'm going to perform some actions on the compound operands. Okay, before that, let me show you some of the values over here. I'm going to first of all, declaring some value, declare at the rate of A, so what is the data type? I'm going to declare it as int. Then I'm going to set some value to the data, uh, to the variable. Okay, what is the value? First, I'm going to set it as 50. Let's assume I'm just giving an example of 50. Now what I want to do, I want to make an, uh, I want to operate, I want to assign compound operator assignment, right? So how I can do set a equal to a plus two nothing but a plus 20 I will go it then I'm going to sorry this is at the rate of because of variables will be assigning it at the rate of and finally what is the value I'm going to select at the rate of a as my result now if you see this is a at the rate of I'm going to assign a value 
the result, what are the rate of A plus 20, the result is going to be assigned to the same value, right? So I'm going to do a small thing over here. I have not used any compound operators till now. I just use arithmetic operator over here, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it the same situation over here. I'm going to declare B and I'm going to assign B value over here. And I'm going to do B plus equal to 20. Okay. And then I'm going to show the result. Okay. Now I'm going to execute the total statements. Now, if you see B equal to B, sorry, this is the B plus equal to. So plus assigning operator and let me execute again. Now, if you see, a equal to a plus 20 nothing but 50 plus 20 equal to 70 the result has been assigned to at the rate of a that is a variable right here also the same but i have used a compound operator over here that is at the rate of b plus equal to 20 is nothing but what are the value if you see both are the same now i'm going to assign subtract equals to okay what i'm going to do i'm going to use at the rate of a minus 20 in the same scenario i am going to use subtract equal to the compound operator that i'm going to use if you see how it the results work at the rate of a equal to at the rate of a minus 20 nothing but it is going to be reducing the value it is subtracting value 50 minus 20 and the result is going to be setting at the rate of a value if you see both my result by result are the same so to to make you understand what I have done, these are the values that I what I have done. Okay. Now let me do in the same way what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using multiplied. Okay. So for all the things, I'm just using copy paste, and you will let you know what is the difference. Okay. I, if you see, at the rate, uh, you are going to use multiplied. Okay. Multiplied equals to this is the operator compound operator that what I'm going to use at the same time nothing but at the rate of a equal to at the rate of a into 20 is equal to at the rate of b multiply that is the compound operator I'm going to use multiplied equals to equal to 20 okay that the both are results are the same now let me do one more thing it's divided by and then I'm going to do the same I'm going to use it divided by equals to let me execute. So 50 divided by 20 is nothing but the, the, the value that we are going to get it as 20 into 2 times equal to 40. So the remainder is 10, right? That will come as a modulo. Okay, now what is the uh, value that you, when you are going to divide it by? That is coming as a 2. Now I'm going to use it a modular. So as we are already discussing right now, modular 20, 50 div modulo by 20, the remainder is 10. The modulo will get it as a 10 right these are all the arithmetic operators as of now that we have seen but we are having exclusive bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or let me explain the same thing over here i hope if you have not watched the arithmetic and uh, bitwise operators please watch the previous videos okay what i'm going to do i'm going to use bitwise and operator over here and between and compound operator between and equals to okay what will happen first what are the values that we are having in the variable it will converts into a bitwise and then it is going to make an operation of and operator and then it will shows the results over there and it will assign the results over there okay so that's the reason as a prerequisite please watch arithmetic operators and compound op and bitwise operators so if you see uh, this is the example that we are, we are going to use bitwise and operator bitwise, x, uh, bitwise and equals to operators that is the compound operator that I'm going to use it now let me go for the compound uh, that is operator or operator that I'm going to use it right so what is the value that what we are having so if I see what I'm going to do at the rate of a that is or operator that I'm going to use it and I'm going to assign the value to A. In the same way, I'm going to use compound operator for the bit, bitwise or operator, bitwise or equals to. In this scenario, that will give 54 the value. 
okay I'll, or operator if both if any one of the bit is equal to one then it is going to be converting into one and the result is going to be showing converting into integer type back to the values okay these are all the bitwise and or let me finally go to exclusive or so why i'm showing this example so you will try to understand what is the difference for the 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 first statement and the second statement so that you will find it now is the both are the same or not okay now if you see at the rate of a equal to at the rate of a okay bitwise or operator that with the value of 20 sorry bitwise exclusive or operator in the same way what i'm going to use i'm just using compound operator behalf of this one so that will happen both are the same at the rate of b compound operator equals to equals 20 then the values will be the same right in this session we learned what are the different different compound operators that what we're having and what about the compound operators we have learned okay we learned what exactly the compound operator is thanks for watching this video have a great day